What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another video and for today's video we are going to be talking about Scream 6, I'm going to be digesting that trailer, talking about my hypeness for this, this is going to be coming out in March and be sure to have that trailer linked in the description if you haven't seen it. I'm just going to go through my thoughts on the trailer but also we're going to have a fun little kind of get to know you Scream fan questionnaire quiz thing at the end of this video. So be sure to stay tuned after I give you my thoughts on Scream 6. So let's get into this. Roll it. So we finally got our look at Ghostface taking New York City and I'm excited like my family's from back east so going to New York City any kind of film that's set in New York City you know those good fellas like mobster type films like you know action films anything that takes place in that area it's very rich it's got a lot of history you know there's a lot of vibrant stuff going around around in the city and I like that we're taking Ghostface to a new location it's a lot of fun and what is awesome about this trailer is right away they're setting you up for a different tone like how Ghostface enters that gas station or the kind of shopping mart and then like he uses the shotgun like that whole scene kind of is there to set the tone for what this film's going for and I'm hoping it's going to be one of the Scream films that's able to break a lot of the kind of typical rules that we have in a Scream film and actually make it successful and I think they got the perfect cast and a really good team behind them in the terms of directors so I'm hoping that we can get across a really solid Scream film. And one major thing I think that this film really has to do for sure is the killer landing. I already have my thoughts. I won't go into that yet. Maybe more towards the release of the film. We'll do a video on what I predict for the killers are. But yeah, I already kind of have my thoughts. But it's really cool how they are setting up something different in this film. And you see that room, there's like a shrine room that has a lot of the stuff from like Scream 2, has outfits from people who got killed, like are attacked, and it's got like the outfits of the different ghost space, so it's, uh, it has a very collector type feel. And to be honest, Piz Owl brought this up on Twitter and was hilarious how he like really maybe nailed this motive right off the bat is that what if this film's about obsessive collectors? And I thought that was amazing because our previous film was about toxic fandom. And you know, I'm a collector, so it could be crazy if that maybe our killer is actually just a really awesome fan of Ghostface and obsessed with it and now wants to use like one of the original masks from the first killings and be the best Ghostface and is willing to break the rules and do things that the others haven't. So I think that's a fabulous thing. I've heard some ideas too that there could possibly be three killers in this film, but I don't know, we'll see. I think we're gonna stick to the two killers. I think there's gonna be two killers but I actually think one will survive this movie or one will get away that maybe only one killer will get caught. So I'm hoping we have maybe, you know, the first ever, uh, like I said, killer that possibly gets away or maybe a killer that was a previous victim. Who knows? And that's a, you know, a, a wink, wink at, you know, Kirby. Like I'm kind of hoping me just as a fan, I love Kirby's character. I really do. And I know some people might hate me for that, but I'm kind of hoping she might be one of the killers. Like, that's just me. That's just me. We'll talk more about that later in another video, like I said. But thanks for sticking around with me all for chatting about Scream 6. But like I said, we also have a fun little Scream questionnaire thing. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on the Scream 6 trailer. Are you going to see that the first weekend? How pumped are you for it? And what did you think about Scream 5? I would love to hear from all of you. And also be sure to answer these questions that we're going to have coming up. So like I said, this is is a fun kind of get to know you Scream fan quiz. And the first question up is going to be, what's your favorite Scream film? Let's just get that out right away. And it's for me going to be the original Scream. And that one for me is just monumental because it's so iconic what it did for the slasher genre. And Wes Craven and Kevin Williamson, that script I think is so good. I know the actors, some of them are very green and they're very young, you know what I mean? And they're But they're still really good and the cast has really good chemistry. And I think for me, Stu and Billy, that third act is still probably one of my favorites. You know what I mean? With Skeet Ulrich and Matthew Lillard and Nev Campbell, that third act sequence is just, it's so good. Like no matter how many times I return to that film, that scene, it's the most quotable movie for me too, the first film, so that is my favorite. Next up is what is your favorite Scream kill? And for me, in terms of Scream kills, this one was hard. This one was kind of hard because I was like, do I go for one that I think is the goriest, most intense kill, the most fun, or do I go with the one that was most impactful for me? 
And in terms of like my favorite kill, the one that actually haunts me the most that I think about most, and most people would say it's Dewey, but no, it's actually Judy's death in Scream 5. And I'm probably gonna go with that as my favorite because it freaking came out of nowhere for me. That was the one that it just came out of nowhere. She's running up to save her son, Wes, you know, running out of the car going up the stairs to the house and then all of a sudden Ghostface comes out of nowhere and he's just so intense they're, they're so intense like the way Ghostface is stabbing her and I was just like it that that one got me so Judy's death for me probably the most impactful death and like I'm gonna go with as my favorite because it's actually the one that I think about the most now for real next up is who's your favorite member of the trio this is gonna be Sydney Prescott Gail Weathers and Dewey and for me it's gonna be Dewey and like that for me has to do with also Scream 5 how they did a really nice like a good version of Dewey before we got to send him off you know what I mean because we've seen goofy Dewey you know we've seen Dewey where he messes up things you know we've seen Dewey love loss for Gail kind of thing and they did a very broken down Dewey that was kind of coming back to really be a hero and help the new cast and stuff like Sam and Tara and all that. So I love that aspect of that film. So the, the fifth film really solidified it for me that Dewey is my favorite member of the trio. Next up we have what is your favorite opening scene in a Scream film? And for me opening scene it's probably going to be that first one still with Drew Barrymore. Man that's just the lines, it like said, it's so iconic. It's so well played and well acted. And it's probably like said, the scariest one. Like when I think about the first opening scenes, to me, that first film is the scariest one. Scream 5 comes very close. Like Scream 5 is my second favorite in the franchise. So that's the one that's very close to a lot of the answers in this too. But that first film is just amazing for me. That's why it's my favorite. That's why it has my favorite opening. So like I said, that for real is probably, I think, the scariest one with Drew Barrymore and the way it plays out and how horrible it is. Her parents are right there and she's trying to scream, but like, you know, her like her like larynx is broken because he was choking her and it's just, oh man, it's a very intense scene. So yeah, that first opening scene from the very first Scream film is the one that sticks close to me. And our very last question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite killer reveal? And you know me, I'm still a fan of the first, very first Scream film, and Billy and Stu are my favorite. And I think for me, it's just how much fun they have in that third act. It's just Matthew Lillard and Skeet Ulrich, their chemistry, and Nev Campbell, they just bounce off of each other. That's that's the scene that I just, I felt it. And like I said, it's the most quotable. I know people make fun of it so much, like we've seen versions of it in Scary Movie and all that, but Billy and Stu stand the test of time as being my favorite killer reveals in the Scream franchise. So thanks for sticking around with me all, as I said, for this awesome little Scream video that I wanted to do. And as I said, answer those questions in the comments. Also, let me know your thoughts on Scream 6, all those kind of stuff, all that kind of stuff, because I would love to hear from you. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing on the channel because I'm going to be planning a lot of other videos. I actually just checked out Smile last night, so I'm going to be doing a rad movie review for that. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And as always, have a safe and happy day. Peace out.